good morning, YouTube. Man, I got one for you, man. I hope y'all got y'all blunts, your coffee's ready. Hey, but Wack talks about Chris Brown and Usher. Hey, I did not know Chris Brown got into another altercation with, with somebody else after that fight. But, man, hey, I'm in there, Wack said. Y'all hit that like and that subscribe, and let's get to it. Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. Man. So, so well, wait, what? Yeah, hey, roller, roller ring party, huh? Let me see that in a minute. <sighs> but yeah, Usher basically, you know, he just went on live and showed, you know, he ain't had a scratch on his face. All that's very fine is it was a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's all he said. You know, he said, well, it was a fight. They hit me, but they didn't do nothing. A lot of busted shit. I mean, that's Usher, though. You don't get no points for that. But Ray J did tell me I should be getting a nigga's business. He told me that today. He said, man, that nigga getting a nigga business, bro. Especially with a bitch and try to play like mediator. Yeah, I'm seeing some shit. I ain't really getting to that content, but I'm seeing some shit about Tiana Taylor or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, that. like he kept telling Chris Brown something, something. I guess Chris didn't want to talk to the bitch because she said something crazy. Uh, Usher was pressing the issue to communicate, nigga. Niggas got irritated. Damn. No, oh, that go. So uh, it, was, it was Chris team versus Usher team, or, or Chris team versus right. Usher team Usher? type shit. I don't, Usher don't move around like that. Uh, I just think it was Usher pressing at something, trying to, you know, clear something up and get them to communicate. And shit, you know, somebody got off. I seen another little scuffle though today. Look like who? Chris Brown. Another little scuffle oh. backstage. So I I seen know, that you know. that yeah, he he out of control. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he needs to slow down. Chris Brown gets into another altercation. He on that powder again, huh, Wack? Yeah, I think he off them slopes, that y'all mean. Yeah, y'all mean, exactly. Yep, I think Ray Gibbs the one giving it to him. <laughs> Ray Gibbs look like Beanie Siegel. I ain't gonna lie, I was like, that's Beanie Siegel right there. <laughs> yeah, dude said he got into another altercation. Uh -huh. With Yo, Missy Elliott, Missy Elliott team, right? Missy Elliott, oh, he, he swung at Missy Elliott. I know she looked like a, but that's a woman right there, man. I, I, I think I got the content. It is. R&B singer Chris Brown. You know, guys, that last night Chris Brown was celebrating his birthday with Usher, but things get intense when his crew and he jumped Usher after the party. But it seems that Chris Brown isn't done. The day after roughing up Usher at the birthday party Usher was throwing for him, Breezy has gotten into another altercation. This one went down last night backstage during Missy Elliott's set at the Lovers and Friends Festival in Las Vegas. TMZ released a video of Chris Brown where you can see he's straight fighting someone. You can check out video footage on the screen. It's not known who Brown was beefing with or what the argument was about. However, if you see the now Chris Brown, you might want to stay out of his way because he's fighting almost everyone. Actually, Chris Brown is having a tough... <laughs> oh no, I'm... Here got a video. Video. Hey, no, 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 no,
Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna read this article. So Chris Brown was caught on camera in yet another confrontation. This apparently just a day out there death stuff. Part of which captured on video. Um, new fit footage shows Chris aggressively trying to reach somebody across from him in what looks like a uh, backstage of a venue. Per several bloggers, this was preferably taken during Missy Elliott's set uh, during Saturday Night in Vegas. Um, no details are out yet about this, including what led up to it or who Chris may have been beefing with. We're working to confirm what exactly was going on here. However, on its face, it doesn't look good for CD, who was just in this exact type of sitch 24 hours earlier. Fortunately, based on what you could see in the video, it would seem cooler heads prevail here and nothing truly violent went down. It's unclear if this had to do with Usher or not. Um, speaking of him, Usher was clearly trying to telegraph a different narrative than what we've been told about the skating ring birthday bash which allegedly turned brutal for Mr. Raymond, according to eyewitnesses. He looked totally fine last night, though, and was making sure to show off his face and the fact that he appeared uninjured. Chris even came and did his set as well with no signs of trouble on stage or any mention of the alleged brawl. Um, here's the thing. We know Chris was pissed off on Friday night, and now he once again seems to be pissed here. So despite their best eff efforts, there's obviously some friction in the air. Usher and company appear to be engaged in a nothing to see here act, but at some point you gotta figure they might have to address this straight up because the rumors are flying. And there's irrefutable video evidence of Chris acting up and coming across as belligerent. Luckily, despite the apparent drama behind the scenes, um, it sounds like the lover and friends was a success and went with all the hits. So that's pretty much the article, but yeah, this nigga wild. He got to another uh, altercation during Miss Young. So that's why they like right? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, he need to slow down, bro. Yeah, well, he looking like he gonna get in a wreck. He gonna get in a wreck soon. He about to get in a real wreck that he ain't looking for. That's real. What's wrong with these dudes, man? Dude want to be tough. Ever since you called him on that shit with motherfucking Soldier Boy, he been flipping out lately. I ain't gonna lie. Ever since that shit, and then over there in the fucking UK, he been thinking he's tough lately. I think. I told a nigga slow down, Slim. You from Virginia? Before you get smoked, I think that went over his head. A nigga from Virginia. Virginia Slim, that's a cigarette. And you definitely smoked that motherfucker. He didn't he didn't catch that bar. Yeah, that nigga. He definitely didn't catch that. The, he gonna run into the wrong ones. Instead of just being Chris Brown, the fucking R and B dude. That's what got me scratching my head, whack. Cause he got all this success, all this, you know, quote unquote money and stuff like that. Like, why is he trying to, you know, act all, you know, he try to act all tough with Missy, all these people with Usher and shit like that. Like, like what's going on? Oh my, no sense. Yeah, like, bro, like a lot of people will love to be in the position you were in, and you just out there. Just, oh, yeah, that nigga, he jumping off the porch late, man. It's too late to jump off the porch, nigga. You grown and shit. Niggas jump off the porch and they 10, 11 years old, nigga. You niggas jumping off the porch now, man. That's crazy. Who is this? Who is this? Figure it out. And nigga, go figure it out. It's crazy. Nigga, better pay attention. Rick James, Suge Knight, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby. 
Robert Downey Jr., the best of the best, boy, that lock your ass up. Yeah. <laughs> I see old Javante Davis got off with house arrest, huh? Oh, that's lovely.